This is the very attractive alpine town of Gap at the border of the Alps and Provence. Altitude 750 meters, quite cold in winter, but wonderful in summer. And look at this, it's just like being in Provence. The locals love their food and I am surprised at the quality of their gastronomy. Merci. This is uh, Axel, he's uh, a, a local farmer. He has got 30 goats and, and five cows. He works with his wife, they make cheese every day. And at the Saturday they come to the market. It's wonderful, he has just given me a piece of, of cow's cheese with local flowers from, from the Alps. It's unique, I've never had that before. It's the experience of visiting a market. Merci bien. I am so surprised on how green, how fertile the valleys of the Alps are. Fruit trees grow so well, and especially the apples. And there's a great apple specialty locally. The bakers take advantage of it, and they make apple cakes, apple turnover, and even apple crumbles. Nearby, I am introduced to a most popular specialty called tourton, a small pie traditionally filled with potato, leek and cheese mixture, but nowadays often made with sweet fillings like apples, but also prunes, raspberry, chocolates and much more. Rather than being baked, they are deep fried to quickly cook them and give them a crisp texture. It looks very appetizing. This is so good. This blueberry and cherry variant is a superb dinner party dessert. I start by dropping one gelatin leaf in a large bowl of cold water. Then I place 30 pitted cherries in a bowl with the juice of one lemon. I place the cherries in a saucepan with 400 grams of blueberries and 40 grams of caster sugar. On gentle heat, I bring it to a simmer and cook for only a few minutes. I think the key is not to overcook the cherries. Then I transfer the fruit to a dish to cool. I then combine two egg yolks and 20 grams of sugar Stir in 20 grams of plain flour and about one tablespoon of finely grated lemon zest. Whisk in one cup of hot milk and cook until it thickens. I transfer it to a bowl and whisk in the softened drained gelatin leaf and let it cool. Next, I beat in two egg whites with 25 grams of caster sugar until firm and shiny then beat in an extra 25 grams of sugar and fold it into the cold custard. This is called a crème chiboust. Transfer the mixture to a piping bag. Very carefully, I spoon some poached red fruit into glasses. Top with a thinly cut round of sponge cake, a local specialty called Gâteau de Savoie. Pipe a little crème chiboust and top with more fruit. I like to finish with a fresh cherry and dust with a little icing sugar. It's called a verine because it is served in a verre, the French word for glass. This fruity modern dessert is so good. In our next gastronomic journey, we arrive in beautiful Italy where we discover why Italian food is one of the best in the world.